Hello there, and welcome to Casual Fridays by I Read Aloud, the podcast that discusses various themes from a personalized lens so that you always end up with my unwarranted opinion and advice and my own take on matters. I am your host, Dada, and I do urge you to look me up on YouTube. Just search for at I Read Aloud, and you'll enter my world of storytelling with the click of a button. Just a reminder before I begin today's episode that this podcast airs on Fridays, actually every two Fridays, it's a bi-weekly podcast now, on the following platforms, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and RSS.com. Today's episode is titled, Women Dating Younger Men. And I know this is a very controversial issue, and recently there have been several um, celebrities dating younger men, and they have kind of taken center stage on this matter. They have been shamed by some people, they have been praised by others. It's definitely a controversial issue, whereas definitely it's a double standard, because when a man dates a younger woman, And even if she's 30 or 50 years younger, we say that he still has game. And the worst thing we could say about him would be that he's rich and she's after his money. But even when that is the opinion of the man, he's still, you know, out and about in society. He's still respected because he's a man and he doesn't really face much scrutiny. Whereas when a woman looks, even looks at a younger man, she's automatically a cougar or a man-eater, as if she's some medusa with snakes on her head out to, you know, get the younger man, out to ruin his life. About 10 or 12 years ago, I was at a wedding and I met this woman who's a mom of a couple of, like, young men who were with her. And... I was just talking to the woman. We sat next to each other during the wedding. She was really lovely. I enjoyed her company. And I met her two sons. Now, because I am, you know, older, you know, I was in the, my mid-30s, and I didn't really think of them as, you know, any, anyone I would look at uh, in a romantic fashion. Uh, I, you know, because I used to be a teacher, uh, I would usually see younger men as you know, my students, someone (laughs) for me to mentor or or whatever. But apparently one of her sons uh, took a liking to me. And during the wedding dinner, he came up to me and asked me for a dance. Now, I was bored and I said, fine, I mean, okay, it's a dance. But as we were dancing, I kind of felt the vibe that he was maybe interested in me, you know, in one sense or another. And I kind of like cut it short, went back to my table, and I saw his parents giving him this hugest lecture about him, you know, hitting on me, and he left <laughs> the dinner upset and all that because, you know, of course, his parents want to protect him, supposedly, from a mistake he would make in his life, and... um you know, he got upset because he wanted to live his life and, you know, experiment new things and have fun and whatever. And now that I'm remembering this, um, you know, I have been in a situation where I've dated a younger man or two, not, you know, on purpose. It just happened. Like, you know, you sometimes meet someone, you don't really ask about the age, you have an interesting conversation, you start dating them, and then you found the age, and then, you know, it's a bit too late because you're already interested, and it's, uh, the wheels started uh, rolling, and, you know, but I always felt when I was uh, dating these younger men that I had to end it because... You know, I used to think, okay, his parents aren't going to like it. They're going to see him with an older woman. And generally, I know the reaction, uh, you know, parents usually have in these situations because I have two brothers and I would know how my parents would react. They would probably, you know, uh, really fight against it because they would think first and foremost that, you know, she's maybe too old to have kids, or if she's older, she is not going to have an easy pregnancy and would be risky. And generally, this would be the main concern, you know, the the, the children uh, and having children as a couple. So I, I, I mean, I always had to f- had the feeling if I were dating a younger man that I it would be something short lived, 
that I would not really uh, be committed to this person long term because uh, you know of these issues um, that you know I'm, I'm personally aware of. And this episode really uh, was triggered, and, and the, the idea behind this episode came from a TikTok video I saw of a lady. Her name is Ariana Rose, and she was telling her story of how she, um, you know, fell in love with this younger man. Uh, she was um, definitely more than 10 years uh, older than him. She had already had children, and she didn't want any more children of her own. And after, you know, this Robin romance, she kind of realized that, oh, okay, it seems he wants to have kids. I don't know if they had a conversation about it or... I don't know how it happened, but because of that, she wanted to end things and for him to move on and she didn't want to kind of, you know, uh, forbid him from the experience of fatherhood if he craved it. And they kind of like went back and forth. They, you know, broke up, got back together, broke up and got back together again several times. And what she ultimately did was find a younger woman that she felt would, you know, be a good partner for this young man. She befriended the woman and she introduced uh, the woman to her ex. And they actually did hit it off. And this lady, Ariana Rose, she didn't uh, contact them for a while. And then she decided a few years later that she wanted to go and see them. And when she went to see them, she was greeted by a young girl, uh, maybe five years old, who looked like her mom. So she recognized that she would be their child. And this girl walked up to her and told her, are you the fairy? I just cannot imagine the whirlwind of emotions she must have felt in that moment. And even though... I understand completely why Ariana did this, you know, with her, you know, ex-lover. I still got upset. I really got upset at the idea that because she wasn't at a childbearing age or because she didn't want to have any more children, she already had uh, two kids of her own, that she had to give up a relationship that was truly uh, based on love and mutual respect. And got me thinking about other uh, couples I knew, because I know several couples who have a a, a huge age difference, you know, where the woman is older. Uh, One of the couples, you know, in one of the couples, the woman is 15 years older than her husband. Um, And really today you don't uh, see the age difference. They're both, I mean, he's 80, she's 95, around around that age. And she looks younger than her husband, uh, believe it or not. And I started wondering, did this relationship work? Because, uh, you know, when they met, the woman was still in her mid-30s. The man was in his early 20s. And she was able to bear children, and the relationship worked out because of that. And had they met when she was maybe 50 and he was 35, it wouldn't have worked. That's kind of like really sad to think about, to be honest. Now, I know many couples who have a five year age gap between them, you know, where the woman is five years older or seven years older and I think you know when it's five years or so it's not really that much of that much of a big deal uh you're kind of almost the same age so maybe you have um similar goals in life uh maybe you both want children or you both don't want children and maybe that makes things easier and I'm sh- I'm sure that many men don't want to have a family and kids, and so that won't be an issue for certain couples. But we're talking about the majority, and the way society is rigged, and the way that people are pushed into relationships to bear children and to have families. And this brings me back to Ariana's story, and and how she triggered in me this inner rage at the idea of you know. When are we going to stop seeing women as birthing machines? When are we going to start seeing women as humans with a brain, uh, an intellect, an interesting mind, an interesting personality, someone who is actually uh, someone who's creative, who has so much to give to society? 
when is that going to happen? Are we going to just continue seeing women as birthing machines? And this also brings us to another, another like side point because at least in my culture, I'm not going to really jump into many cultures because I don't know exactly, you know, uh, in other cultures how things go, but I know for sure on <laughs> evidence and facts and, and things that have been said to me by very close men to me that most men, uh, in, at least in my culture in the Middle East, they get married to have children, but then they continue having extramarital relations. Now, again, this is because they see women as childbearers, and as if this is the job of the woman. And I'm sure this is also in Africa, because I've also been in Africa, and this is also the case. You know, uh, many men marry their women, they, the, women, the women bear children, they stay at home, and the men always go out with their girlfriends. So you see all these African men out with their girlfriends, and their wives are at home raising the kids. And I know we live in a patriarchy. The world is built as a patriarchy in the world we live in. And I mean, I don't know, do we just accept it? Do we just accept it's a patriarchy and let's play the game that the patriarchy wants? Do we not say anything? Do we shut up and, and just, you know, put our heads down and go about pretending that nothing is wrong? Um, it's not like there's anything wrong with bearing children. That's what I'm saying. But it's, is, it, is this the only function of the woman? That's what I'm asking. And are we going to continue seeing women as simply childbearers, like, you know, <laughs> this walking birthing machine? Well, on that note... I will end my episode today. Next week's topic shall be on the sexy man. I hope you'll tune in then. For now, I wish you a lovely weekend. I send you all my love. Till Friday next.